In this video, we'll be tackling about the cyclical model for curriculum development developed by Aubrey Nicole and Howard Nicole. The model is highly prescriptive and dynamic. The inclusion of situational analysis as part of the model is a valuable principle in curriculum development. It enables the curriculum workers to understand better the context in which the curriculum is developed. It also recognizes the influence and importance of contributing disciplines such as philosophy, psychology, and sociology. Uh, these disciplines are useful in selecting the curriculum goals and objectives, contents, learning experiences, and evaluation according to Tyler 1949. The model has the potential to be used in any educational setting, either school-based or on a national level. The cyclical nature of the model also enables curriculum workers in making necessary changes and adjustments in the total curriculum. This attribute to the model that it is helpful for teachers, administrators, and education boards to address curricular issues and propose innovations and changes whenever needed. The model of Nichols and Nichols 1978 advocates a curriculum development activity that involves a continuous improvement. Hence, by starting with situational analysis, curriculum workers will be able to collect data and the needed infos from various curriculum sources and influences that are prerequisites in formulating goals and objectives in the curriculum. It involves cultural and social aspect, the edu educational system, the subject matter, uh, even the students, the teachers, political structure of the institution, resources, and perceived weaknesses and strengths in the curriculum. Selection of objectives directs our points to the question of what educational purposes the school should seek to attain. In the selection of organization of content, um, it pertains to the educational experiences that can be provided by the school to attain the set of purposes or objectives. Selection and organization of methods, on the other hand, um, it pertains to the educational experiences on how it will be conducted or organized or if it is effective or not and in the evaluation uh, this answer to the question or directs that uh, how can we de determine if that certain objective set is being attained or yeah if it is effective or it really helps however there is a little weakness found in this model the possible problem that may occur is that many curriculum workers are used to develop curricula following a linear model. For example, in the Philippines, curriculum development follows a top-down approach where uh, many curricular decisions are made in the national level. The goals and contents of the curriculum are uh, set by the state or the government. In the context of uh, higher education, there is a tendency for teachers not to follow this model because of the uh, teachers are tremendous job of conducting situational analysis before developing any syllabus or curriculum plan.